Okay, so in this one we're given two diagrams and we're asked what the wave equation could be. Now I just want to make the point that there's lots of possibilities for this wave equation. With the options you're given, only one is correct, but in general there is not just one solution, there's a number of solutions. Okay, so to approach this question, we know that it's described by an equation along the lines of y is equal to a sine kx minus omega t plus 5. What we're going to do is work through and see which of these we can work out and then we can eliminate some possibilities to get our final correct answer. Okay, so A is the amplitude, that's the maximum displacement of the wave from its equilibrium position. So that's given by this height here, so it's equal to 2 meters. So A is equal to 2 meters. Okay, now K, that's the wave number, so that's 2 pi over lambda. So from this diagram, we can actually work out the wavelength. So we've got one wavelength is going down and back up. So that's one wavelength. This number is hard to read off accurately. But what we can see is that the end of this wave lines up perfectly with x equals 2 meters. So between 0 and 2 meters, we've got 1, 2, three waves. So we know that three wavelengths is equal to two meters. So this tells us that lambda is equal to two over three. So we can now get k. So k is equal to two pi over two on three. So these twos cancel out and we can multiply the top and the bottom both by three and we end up with three pi. So we've got k is 3 pi now. So, so far, let's write this in blue, what we've got so far is y is equal to 2 sine 3 pi x minus omega t plus 5. Now, omega t is actually a bit harder, so let's start with phi. So this diagram tells us that when x equals 0, and we're told in the question that t equals 0 for this diagram, then we know that y is equal to 2. That's this point here, the height is 2. So y is equal to 2. So we can substitute that into this blue equation that we've just derived now. So we know that 2 is equal to 2 sine 3 pi. Now x we've said was 0 at this point. We know that t is 0, so this is minus omega times 0 plus 5 and so we've got 2 is equal to 2 let's divide by 2 so we've got 1 is equal to sine and this is 0 this is 0 and this is 5 sine 5 so that tells us that phi is equal to 90 degrees which is equal to pi on 2 radians so we've now also got this phi so we've got y is equal to 2 sine 3 pi x minus omega t plus pi on 2. So all we've got to do now is work out what this omega t is. Now there's a few approaches we could take. We could take elimination, but probably a nice approach to take is to try and work out the speed of the wave. Now there's quite a number of possibilities with this one. So we'll just work out the smallest speed it could be and see if that works. Okay, so if we take this point at the top of the wave, this is at t equals 0 seconds, then if we assume that it's moved the in the positive direction, the shortest possible distance, so this was assuming it was going in the positive direction here, it's moved to here. So we can read off what that value is. So we need to read it off fairly accurately here. So I'm trying to do it as best I can with a ruler. So if we drop this line down here, and so we can see on this scale here, this number here is 0 0.3, this one's 0 0.4. So we've got that it's gone from 0 meters to around about 0 0.33 meters in one second. So V is equal to the displacement, which is 0 0.33 
divided by the time, which was one second. So that is equal to 0 0.33 meters per second. And we also know that V is equal to omega over K. So omega is equal to K times 0 0.33. So this is equal to three pi times 0 0.33. So this is equal to one pi. So that's one option to get the final answer, which is y is equal to 2.0 sine 3 pi x minus 1.0 pi plus pi on 2. The other option, let's look at one of these options and show how we could show it wasn't correct. So an incorrect option, for example, is y is equal to 2.0 sine 3.0 pi x minus 0 0.1 pi t plus pi on 2. So this option had both our k right and our phi right. So what's wrong about this is the omega. To show that this is wrong, if we substitute in t equals 1, and let's consider x equals 0, because that's an easy point. Then we've got y is equal to 2 sine, so x is 0, so this is 0, minus 0 0.1 pi, because t is 1 now, plus pi on 2. So then what we can do is evaluate this on the calculator. And we end up with 1.902. So if this one was correct, we'd have to be starting a graph here, which isn't what's happening. So that's how we can eliminate this option. And then we can look at the other options as well. One of them we can eliminate because the K is not correct. The other one we can eliminate in a manner similar to this one. Okay, so now we're trying to get a time versus height graph at the location where x is equal to 1. And we know that the equation is given by y is equal to 2 sine 3 pi x minus 1 pi t plus pi on 2. So the first thing we do is substitute in our x equals 1. So we've got y is equal to 2 sine 3 pi. And then x is 1, so that's just times 1. So this just remains like this, minus 1 pi t plus pi on 2. And so we can write this as 2 sine 3.5 pi minus 1 pi t. Now we can start by working out, well, at t equals zero, where is this point going to be? So let's do um, at t equals zero, we've got y is equal to two sine 3.5 pi, um, and then this is zero. So two sine 3.5 pi. Solving this on the calculator, sine of 3.5 pi is equal to minus 1, and so this is equal to minus 2.0. And so only one of these actually starts at minus 2.0. So D here needs to be the correct option.